why is this video so much easier to film when I'm talking to no camera and I'm just talking to myself and as soon as I turn the camera on I can't speak a single word. Hey guys, so welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be sharing my author goals. These are goals, not dreams. I do have some dreams, but these are goals. So basically I saw Sarah Sutton and Jen from Jen's Bookshelf do these. I'll leave both of their original videos linked down below. But I saw them do this and I wasn't going to do it originally and then I was like, no, I want to do it so I'm going to do it. I have uh, seven goals here and I think they're all very reasonable. I don't think any of them are like, nah, you can't, that's, that's going to be pretty hard to do. I think these all make sense and I think they're all within my reach eventually. Not right now because I'm only going to be 16, but I think these are all will eventually... I think I can make all of these happen sometime throughout my lifetime. Hopefully. For all I know, I could die tomorrow, but... And then I wanted to complete a single one of them. Uh, <laughs> anyway, let's get back to the point of the video. So, yeah, let's talk about my author goals. My first author goal is to traditionally publish middle grade novels. I really like middle grade, and I just would like to uh, be a middle grade author. I'd like people to read middle grade stories that are written by me. And so, traditionally publishing middle grade, yeah. I know you can self-publish it, but, like, I don't, I don't read, like, I don't think I've ever read a self-published middle grade. If you guys have any suggestions, I'd like to, like, look into them. But I would really like to traditionally publish middle grades because there's a chance of them, like, getting, like, there's a bigger chance of them getting out to the world to more children. And also... I would just like to traditionally publish middle grades. I don't have any interest in self-publishing middle grades. I do have interest in self-publishing, but not for the age range of middle grades. So, next one is to traditionally publish a YA standalone fantasy. Messed up the wording. I'd like to traditionally publish a YA fantasy standalone. And this could... I. You might be wondering why I didn't put, like, series or just leave off the standalone. But I think that traditionally publishing standalones for fantasy series might be better personally for me. Because I don't know what I'm going to be when I turn 18 or when I come of age of having to settle down and have an actual career. Uh, but based on what I'm thinking of doing and based on what I want to do, like, right now, uh, deadlines would be really difficult for a series because for the job that I'm thinking of, like, you know, if they, if the people who I work for need me, I have to go right then and there. I don't know how long I could be gone for, like, they could say I'm going to be gone for a few weeks, but I could be gone for the whole two months. So I uh, think, like, a standalone would be a lot more, like, thing. I don't know, it's not expendable, but that's the only word I can think of right now. And, yeah, obviously, being an author with the career I'm thinking of is still going to be really difficult because I'm always, I might miss a whole bunch of deadlines, no matter if it's for a series or a standalone. But I would like to traditionally publish a YA standalone. Plus, YA standalones, standalones sell way better in publishing because, you know, series means that you got to sell multiple books, and if the first book in your series doesn't sell well, then there's a very high chance that you're not going to sell the sequels. So, standalone fantasy, traditionally published at least one, that's the goal. My next goal is a little bit different, and based off the two people I've seen, and I didn't see them do this, but they're two people in a whole world of people, I'd also like to write a graphic novel or graphic novel series. Um, yeah, this is a weird one, but, because I don't, I read graphic novels, but I don't, I've never given a graphic novel a 5 out of 5 star. Um, the highest I've given, I think, is Pumpkin Heads by Rainbow Rowell, which I gave 4 out of 5. But I really don't rate graphic novels that high, and I don't buy graphic novels either. But I want to write one. I want to have my name on the bottom or the top of a graphic novel, and, I, um, it's just, it's fascinating. I would never draw a graphic novel. Uh, because I can't draw to save my life, but I would like to write a graphic novel or a graphic novel series. My next goal is one I've seen on both Sarah and Jen's, and that is to go on a writer retreat. I want to go on a writer retreat. I cannot go to one on a beach because I get so distracted because I love the beach and I uh, love the sun. So, you know, going on a writer's retreat to a place 
that I love that isn't the most like easiest to write on because like it's a beach. I mean obviously you'll have a house but I would probably spend a lot of my time in the sun. So I'd like to go on a writer retreat maybe like in the woods or something but that could also lead to me being killed because you can't really trust people nowadays. But anyway the point is I'd like to go on a writer's retreat. I think it'd be fun. I'd meet other people which like I'm not a very outspoken person but you can meet other authors which that kind of like goes into my like one of my later goals. So yeah I'd like to go on a writer retreat. My next goal is to write a series. I'd like to write and publish a series, but I would I'm thinking that I would publish a self I would self-publish the series. Just because self-publishing you can choose your own timelines. Now, obviously, if you're writing a series, you don't want to pub publish the first book and then publish the sequel like five years later. <clears throat> Uh, J.R. Martin. Anyway, but I would like to write a series, and I just think it'd be fun. Oh, it's all gonna be fun, but writing a series is just, I don't know why, to, and how to explain it, but like I said, these are reasonable goals that I could hit, and writing a series it seems very reasonable. So, the next one kind of goes on with the writing a series, and that is to co-write a fantasy series. Now, originally, these were both different ones. I'd like to write a series and then also write another series with another person, but they could go together. I don't really care. They're both series, you know what I mean. But I'd like to co-write a fantasy series, and not with, like, a specific author, like a fan, like a like a famous one? No, no. I just like to write a fantasy series with somebody in general. And if I went on a writer's retreat, like that could possibly open up the uh, possibility of co-writing a lot more. You know, so I'd like to co-write a fantasy series eventually. Again, does it have to be with somebody famous? Just somebody who was on the same page as me. Somebody who like I could co-write well and work with somebody who I would get along with. I don't want to write with somebody I hate. So yeah. And then my final goal is to be in a book box. Um, more specifically, I would like to be in an Alcrate Junior book box with some with a middle grade that I've written. But I would really like to just be in a book box in general. Book boxes bring so many readers to your shelves and to your novels, same thing, so I feel like I need to specify. Um, so I would really like to be in a book box. I think it'd be a lot of fun, and I don't know, and I would definitely make sure I had my own copy, and I would don't know if I, maybe I'd buy, like, I'd have two so I could open one, and then leave the other one closed and, like, put it on a shelf. Be like, I'm in that. I'm in that. I'm in that one, sorry. <laughs> uh, but yes, I would like to be in a book box. So guys, those are my author goals. Like I said, they're pretty reasonable, but I would like to hear from you guys one of your reasonable author goals and one of your dreams. For some reason, one of my dreams would to be a stamped awarded book. I would love to win a reward for one of my books. I can't tell you what award. I don't even know what awards there exi exist for books. But I would like to have one of my books earn a stamp on the cover. Like, boom! I'd love that. And that's a dream of mine. That is very, very, like, hard to do. And probably near impossible. Nothing's impossible. It's probably more improbable. Um, but that's one of my dreams. So tell me in the comment section one of your goals and one of your unrealistic but you'd love to have happen eventually dreams. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe down below because I post videos on this channel every single Monday. And so I'll see you guys all Monday for another video. Bye, guys. And, hey, don't forget I'm still a freaking bulldozer. Bye, guys. I have shorts on so my legs stick to the chair. Okay, bye, guys.